We're here in Nashville for this matchup between the New Orleans Saints and the Tennessee Titans. We got a crossover conference game about to kick off here. Any thoughts before kickoff, Phil? Well, these two teams don't know each other very well. So when you don't know the other team real well, you know what happens? You get surprised. A lot of big plays. This will be fun to watch. Saints ready here for the kickoff. To the line of scrimmage first down he's got a wide open alley the defense cannot give up these long runs you have to hustle to the ball get a lot of people around the ball carriers to make sure they don't take short gains and turn them into long ones Offense lining up here after picking up more than 30 on the previous play. The defense stands up early and stops the run cold. Good job that time. You said it, Jim, by the defense. They attacked the offensive line, and there was nowhere for the running back to run the football. Second and nine. Over to right. Locker hits Kendall Wright with that pass. Well, if you want to be a good play-action pass team, it's always nice to have a good running game. Make the defense dig in and try to stop your run. When they do that, you fool them. You fake it, you throw it down the field. That, that's, that's about as easy as it gets. The wide receiver in motion. Now first and ten. Johnson's got it on the handoff. Nice piece of running by Chris Johnson. It didn't take long, but they're already in scoring territory inside the red zone. Yeah, they're making it look easy, aren't they, so far? But you've got to be alert on the defensive side right now because this offense loves to go for the touchdown once they get into the red zone. This play set up by the long gainer. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Complete. As good as it gets. Touchdown. Well, when the offense goes out there and scores a touchdown to put you ahead, it's got to give a big lift to the defense. they got to get excited and go out there and hold that lead. Inside of the uprights. The Saints getting set to return to kickoff. And he's tackled right at about the 28-yard line. in the slot receiver role for this upcoming snap. First and 10. He'll fire it out to the left. Incomplete, almost intercepted. Anytime your receiver running any route to the inside of the NFL, they're worried about getting hit. Don't lead them too far in a slant route. Just throw it right at them. Moore's in the slot. Second down and 10. 
makes the catch in open space. Six in the books. Well, that score ties the game up. Now on the defensive side, you've got to come out there and take advantage of this, this feeling you got going now and get the football back for your offense. The Saints now will tack on the extra point. Extra point was good. The Titans are ready to take it to them. Just across the 20 and tackled at the 21. First down and the give now to Chris Johnson. Right side. That tackle was made at the 27 yard line. When you're an offensive lineman and you can line up and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards, you are going to get into the head of the defense. You're basically saying, We're tougher than you are and we're just going to come right at you. Second and four. Jake Locker down the field. When it comes to throwing the football, I think the best thing Jake Walker does is throw the high, long passes down the field. That time, he's right on the money for the big completion. That long gain sets them up here on this play. A tackle behind the line. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. Offense lines up here. That catch, good for a first down. That time the pass is completed into double coverage, Jim, but the quarterback made a bad read. But these receivers, they are so good nowadays. Go. That time in double coverage, he went up and made the catch. It's like Bill Parcells said to me once about Mark Mavaro, a very talented receiver. He goes, remember, Sims, when he's covered, he's open. Chris Johnson lined up in the backfield. Scrambling out of the pocket, and he's taken down. Well, that's a good job by the defense that time, getting the sack on the blitz. And when you blitz, you're taking a chance. You better get to the quarterback, and that time they did. There's some shifting around in the backfield. Third and 14. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. The Titans now move the chain. That's a terrible job by the defense in the gym. I mean, you, you got third and over 10 yards. You don't get a pass rush. You don't cover them down the field, and you give up the first down. The Titans in the pistol. Here comes the wide receiver in motion. First and 10. Chris Johnson takes the handoff. He's going to be swallowed up behind the line. Well, the play is there to be made, but the offensive player doesn't get it done. Bad job on first down. And no one is going to catch this one as it goes out of bounds. The Titans will approach this play from out of the pistol. Third and 12. It's intercepted! Linebackers nowadays are so talented. They can just do everything. Uh, they're strong enough to stop the run, but how about this interception? Good job, good reading of the quarterback, and a nice catch.
first down here. Mark Ingram carries the football. Gains 13. Good job that time by the running back getting down the field and picking up big yards. Sproles is in the backfield. Breeze in shotgun formation, eyeing that left side. And that's a big time tackle that keeps them three yards short of the first down marker. We're back here in this low scoring affair. To the pass play, gain seven, second and three on the way. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Almost intercepted. If you're going to miss a deep throw down the field, miss it long. That time the quarterback has the receiver open, but he overthrows it. Meacham's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Third and three. Looking to the right side and throwing. That'll put them in what we call plus territory. Well, that was a nice throw by the quarterback that time to, to get just enough yards to pick up the first down. Colston's a receiver in the slot. From the shotgun. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Good job by the receiver that time. Getting that extra couple yards gets a first down. They are marching. Let's see how the defense reacts. First down, following the long play. Darren Sproles takes the football. They've got him behind the line of scrimmage. Got to give the defense some credit on first down. There's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Breeze is going to take it from the shotgun. Throws to the right. And that ball's nearly picked off. But he dropped it. It's third down coming up. From the gun. Looking across the middle. Touchdown! How about this get? A wide open receiver down the field. The quarterback, good job of finding. He throws it down there and he gets the easy touchdown. The flag is out as the play continues. Running into the kicker. Defense. They won't get away with that as he knocks the kicker down. Saints ready here for the kickoff. The 
They'll send him to the 20 yard line. Chris Johnson lined up in the backfield. They motioned the receiver around to the other side. First and ten. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. He's headed right. But Carroll on the tackle. Well, that was a nice run that time off tackle. And listen, this is a bread and butter play in the NFL. It's about power running. Can your offensive tackle make the block to free up that running back so he has a chance to get that secondary and make a nice run out of it? Oh, and almost picked up that time. I think this is one of the easier throws in the NFL. Don't make the mistake throwing it up the field. Throw it across the field so the receiver can run to it. That time, the quarterback leads the receiver way too far on the post route. The Saints with two extra defensive backs in the dime, and he'll try it left. The tackle is going to be made, but he's beyond the first down marker. Nice play call that time by the offensive coordinator coming with the counter run, and the defense being too aggressive. They're over pursuing, so you do the little counter, go the opposite direction, and it works well. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Working that left side, makes the catch. And he is brought down at the 45-yard line. That's a nice job by the offense there. Get the first down, keep those chains moving. Give yourself three more opportunities. First down and 10. With two hands, he has it. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. I think the best thing to say about that play, it's just it gained a few yards, so that's what you do. All plays don't score. Sometimes you just want to pick up a couple yards. What is it about? That's an interception. He's into the open. Tackles made. I, well, I have to say, that's just a terrible decision by the quarterback there. He's got to know when you're in a situation like this, you just cannot make that type of pass. First down, offense readying for the snap. And Sproles gets the football. I think you got to be a little more creative in the red zone than this. When you just line up and run the football like that, you're not going to get a lot of yards. And that time, they just got a short game. Last play before the two-minute warning. Half time, two minutes away. It's now second down and seven after the three-yard rush. To the ground here. And it's George Wilson who brings him down. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. under center third down and three Sproles bringing the play to an end first down by the offense in the red zone and you know you're on the defensive side you don't have to worry about deep passes anymore you can be more aggressive and take some chances
They're able to move the chains after that last run. Thomas called on once again. Up ahead for about four. Nothing too exciting here, just plowing ahead, getting closer to that goal line. Well, they're trying to find out if this defense has the courage and toughness to stand up to them. So far, they haven't. This defense, they better pick it up if they think they're going to stop this offense. Second down coming up. Run it with Mark Ingram. They run right. Short run, and it's a touchdown. Well, you got a lead. You drive down the field. You score a touchdown. Now we're going to find out if the other team can stay patient or will they panic. The Saints with the PAT to come. And the extra point is good. The Titans are ready to take it to them. He had nowhere to go, and they deck him at the 16-yard line. Brits lined up in the slot. The wide receiver shifting around in motion. The pass is intercepted. Tackle. Jim, this defense is just attacking today. They got the offense backed up. They go after them. They're aggressive. And what does it do for them? It gets them an interception inside the opponent's 20-yard line. Holston's lined up now as a slot receiver. First and ten reaches out and grabs it. And it's George Wilson with the tackle. Every quarterback in the NFL loves this coverage where you got four defensive backs all playing deep. So in routes, anything across the middle, usually it's wide open. Good job of the quarterback taking advantage of the defense that time. That reception gave them the first down. Throwing now to his left. They've got him down there. The Saints with no timeouts left. When you play zone coverage, the quarterback might have to hold the football just a little longer. But these guys nowadays, when you play zone, they know how to throw and catch and get it done. Wide receivers are bunched up. The throw to the left inhales the pass. Always a good job to pick up some yards when you're in the red zone. Nice throw by the quarterback, and he gets a completion. That's the end of the first half, and you've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. We're back here now in this one where the Saints lead by 14. The onside kick is turned away, and the receiving team has it. Colston in the slot. And now here's the first snap of the second half. And he's forced to the ground. Well, you see it all the time. When the offensive line can't stop the defensive pass rush, then you have your running backs hit a defensive lineman before they go out for the pass. Graham shifted from tight end to a receiver in the slot. They've got him again. The name of the game is hit the guy with the football, isn't it? That's what it is. The quarterback has it. The defensive end, what a nice play. Gets to him that time and gets the big hit. Yeah. 
Moore is going to get set in the slot for this snap. Challenging the defenders to the right side. He's going to be brought down, and that's going to be a three and out for this offense. You're near midfield. It's fourth down. What do you do? I got the answer right here. You punt it. Play field position. Make the other offense drive the length of the field to score. Holston's a receiver in the slot. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Has enough for the first as he's taken down at the 33. Got to have a lot of courage to call these type of plays, don't you, Jim? And, and at that time, even though this team is winning, the coach decides to go for it on fourth down. Good play call, and they make it work. Moore's lined up in the slot. Thomas is going to secure the handoff. He's brought down at the 25-yard line. The off-tackle run, it's just what it says it is. You're going to read the tackle's block and decide whether you're going to go inside or outside. Usually, this is the first running play every team puts in their offense when they go to training camp. Breeze in shotgun formation. He makes the catch all the way home and all alone. Touchdown. This offense, they are so aggressive. I love them, man. Even though they had the lead, they kept pressing the issue, and they got another touchdown to increase that lead. It's good. That's going to be a costly penalty running into the kicker. Saints ready here for the kickoff. They'll take it at the 20. Jake Locker has it under center. First and 10. Looking to the right side and throwing. Almost intercepted that time. Well, when you want to put all the pressure on the quarterback to make really good throws down the field, play tight man-to-man -man coverage. It takes perfect throws to get completions. Not there that time. This would be second down. Johnson's handed the football. Has some space to work with. When you're behind in a football game, all you can do on the offensive side is just go out there and thinking about making plays and picking up first downs, good job by the offense. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. Left side. This doesn't look good. We've got a player down and he's in pain. That's a good job. He's able to get up and get off the field. And my guess is he's going to be okay. A little bit of a scare there, no doubt about it. That makes everybody nervous. After the long gain, let's see what they do here. Wright's got the carry once more. They deck him in the backfield. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Let's go. Second and goal from the eight. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Titans are in for the score. Has a nice touchdown there. And you're chipping away at that lead. Try to get into the minds of the opponent. Will they get tight? And can you hear the word choke? Yeah, I think they could be choking over there on the other side. Look out. The Titans line up for the point after. The point after is good. They're lining up here for the onside kick. The Saints will use a timeout here early in the second half. They're lining up for the onside kick. They want to get the ball back.
That kick came right at him, and it looks like the receiving team has recovered. They face first down. They'll give it to the back, out of the eye. And here we have second down. Robinson's taking the handoff. He'll be taken down about three yards short of the first. Hey, this defense, they are tough. When you run that football, they got some men up front, and that time they stopped that run just for a short game. Thomas lined up in a single back formation. Third and three. And they bring down the quarterback, and it's a three and out for the offense. Pressuring the quarterback, that's what you love to do in the NFL from the defensive side. That time, they blitz. It was quick, it was fast, and they get a sack on the quarterback. Colston lined up now as a slot receiver. Marcus Colston hauls it in. And that'll be good for the first. Nice job by the coach that time going forward on fourth down. His team is up here in the second half. He wants to keep momentum on his side. That's why he goes for it, and they get it. Holston in the slot. First and ten. And he's thrown to the ground. When you're the quarterback and you see a blitz, you got to know you got to drop back, look at a receiver, and let it go. No hesitation is allowed. He hesitates, and the defense gets the sack. The Saints are still in possession as we get this final quarter underway. offensive line gets in position. Can they protect their quarterback? He had no time to get set. Play number six coming up on this drive. Completion right there, but it really should have been an interception. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work, and they stop the offense that time. Titans come out in a dime package. Breeze is going to take it from the shotgun, trying to work that left side. This is going to set up a change of possession. Well, I'll give the defense some credit here. They stopped them on fourth and long. Well, they should. Take that back. I'm not giving them any credit. I'm giving the blame 
to the offense. Bad decision. The Titans line up in the pistol offense. To the right. And here he goes. There's a flag right there. Well, contact around the knees, and they flagged them for the clipping call. Uh, it, it, it did. It was a good call. I mean, listen, you got to hold your breath when you see plays like that. You just hope somebody doesn't get hurt. First down following the penalty. The handoff running behind the tackle. Well, the defensive coach is going to be upset after this play. After that long run, terrible angles, and really just a lack of hustle by the defense gives up the long run. The Titans will go with the pistol on this play. Now, cutting to the right side, looking for some open space. When you run off tackle, one of the things you're looking for is for your tackle to make a good block. And then if you have a lead fullback, can he get past him and block the linebacker to free up the halfback so he can go in between them and get into secondary and make a big play? This is where games are won and lost. Once an offense gets down the red zone, even though they're down more than seven, can you find a way to punch it in there for the touchdown and not settle for a field goal? Here's the first snap after the big play. Back to the ground, slashing to the right side. When you get down in the red zone, the offensive coordinator's got to call a play that deceives the defense. Let's see if he can do it. His team is down. He needs a big play here. Getting sacked. The offensive line did a terrible job that time. Reaction to the blitz by the defense. They let the defenders come free, and they sacked the quarterback. Wide receivers stacked up on this play. Third and 13. Throws to the right. Got a hand on it, and it's incomplete. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third and long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. Looks like a delay of game. Delay of game, offense. Still fourth down. The defense comes out of the dime. pick up the first down and they'll give the ball back to the other side he's such a smart linebacker that's one of the reasons why he was able to knock that pass down that time he diagnosed the play he saw what it was going to be got himself in position and he made it happen drew Brees has it under center first and ten and the give to Pierre Thomas. Picks up about four. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. Yeah. 
He's setting up here. He's been sacked four times already. What a beating it has been for the quarterback. Second and seven. Screen play is on. Darren Sproles makes the catch. Going to take it the distance. The 20, the 10. What an effort and a touchdown. That was a nice job that time by the offense driving down for the touchdown to increase their lead. That really takes a lot of pressure off their defense. The Titans are ready to take it to them. going to be taken down well short of the 20. Let's mark him at the 15. Britt's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Every play is precious now as we reach the midway point of the final quarter. Hard to get these hits against quarterbacks now, these blindside hits, because everybody's worried about getting hit as a quarterback, the protections, all the smart things they do, getting rid of the football fast, but they couldn't stop at that time. Big hit. That leads us to second down. Let's go. He'll fire it out to the left. Very nearly intercepted. That's interesting as you watch the receiver trying to make that catch. He knew the defender was close, so he didn't put all of his heart into it. The defender made a nice hit and knocks the football out to the ground. Two tight ends on the field here. Halfback sent in motion. Looks to his left. Ball is caught. Good piece of tackle. When you have a quarterback to control the football like this guy, even though it's third and 10 plus yards, he makes a nice throw for the first down. Green's lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. Tipped away. Good timing by the defensive player that time. He gets to the receiver just as the football is getting there and makes the hit, knocks that football loose. Sean Green lined up in the backfield. Second down and 10. Over to right. Could have been intercepted. That's a nice route that time by the wide receiver. Running the corner route, and the quarterback just throws it too far and misses it. Last play before the two-minute warning. Third and 10. He'll throw it over the middle. That's been the story of this game. Another third down conversion to move the chains. And now we reach the two-minute warning. Green's in the backfield. Single back set. Jake Locker down the field. Oh, that could have been intercepted, but he couldn't hold on. Well, they go for the bomb, but the defensive backfield was not fooled. Yeah, they were all over at that time, and they just, that was like shadow defense. Wherever the receiver was going, the defense was right next to him. Great job. Second down and 10. Nate Washington with the grab. Well, there's nothing the defense can do. When you talk about a receiver like these guys out there now, and, and this one in particular, the double coverage, they're still able to go in between the defenders, rise up and make the catch. Not a good job that time by the quarterback. When you see the cover two defense, you got to know where to throw the football. He did not, and that's why the ball goes incomplete. Right, a receiver in the slot. The second and ten. Over to right. Oh, nice job. That quarterback, he was watching the quarterback. He's all over the receiver, so it was easy for him to knock the throw down. Please, please, please. 
play after play after play here on this drive. Third and ten. He'll fire it out to the left. And Washington's there to catch a ball that had a lot of heat on it. Anytime you get in the red zone, you want to punch it in there and get seven points. Uh, they're being dominated today. They're down more than seven. But don't worry about it. Score here and just keep playing. The long drive continues. First and ten. Going across the middle, under fire on that throw. This has been a long drive so far. He fires it in there tight. The Titans get a first down. Nice throw that time by the quarterback in the red zone. Gets a completion. And there's some tight spots. Not a lot of room. So you got to really drive the football in there. He's in for the touchdown. I'd say this run by the offense is just, it's arrogance. They just say, you can't stop us. And they lined up and just shoved it down the defense's throat. Nice run there on first and goal for the touchdown. The Titans with an extra point try on the way. No, it's not. It's a fake. Got the touchdown. Got the two-point conversion. People love to go for two in this game, don't they? Well, they do, and you know what? Now, I guess you and I just can't sit here and blast the coach for a bad decision. When you pick up the two points, you can't complain about what they're trying to do. And he is brought down at the 39. setting up here he's been sacked four times already what a beating it has been for the quarterback well Jim I always say it's about deception when you're playing offense that time the play action fake by the quarterback was so good the defense didn't even see that he still had the football and he throws it down there for a nice completion Colston lined up in the slot First and ten. Robinson's going to take the handoff now. The tight signal for the timeout, and they have none remaining. Thomas is lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. They give it to him on the counter. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it, and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Colston's lined up now as a slot receiver. Third and three. They'll run it here out of the weak eye. And he's tackled at the 30-yard line. Well, when you try to tackle this guy, his legs are the size of a refrigerator, so hard to wrap him up. That's why he picked up the big game. First down here after the run. The ball's deflected incomplete. Nice job that time by the wide receiver on the post route. He's open, but the quarterback throws it too far and misses him. At the 30-yard line, here comes the snap. This game is about to finish. Here it's a second and ten. The pass down the field by Drew all the way home just in time. A late touchdown. Well, Jim, with that touchdown this late in the game, that ices it. And if you could sing, you could, uh, I'd let you say it's turn out the light. But we know you can't sing. So the game is over. Offside.
He'll decline the penalty and let the play stand. This game's come to an end. Phil, before we go, how about this win? How much will this one count? You know, Jim, all wins are nice. This one was done easy. You didn't have to sweat too much over it. You feel good, and you just enjoy the next couple days.